The Frog, Shrimp and Fish Transformation Tale An Aonaga Folk Tale In the olden times, it was said that some water creatures were close friends. They were the crab, the frog, the shrimp and the fish. These four were inseparable and did everything together. Whenever cultivation season came around, they collectively worked on each other's field together, as was the common Naga custom. So, on rotation basis, each friend got his field work done by his group of friends. The day came when the friends had to work on the crab's paddy field. As usual, the friends began working, sowing the sapling and humming tunes all along. However, by noontime, the crab excused himself to go and cook lunch for them. He being the host, it was expected of him to provide the workers food. The crab, being hospitable as ever, wanted to serve a very tasty meal for his friends. But he was rather saddened by the discovery that he had no meat to add to the curry. He sat and thought about how best he could enhance the flavor of his curry, even without meat. Then he hit upon an idea. He decided to break off a limb from his own body and add it to the curry. Having done that, he felt it really improved the curry's taste. Now excitedly, he yelled to his friends that lunch was ready. The three friends wolfed down the food and complimented the cook. They all agreed that it tasted too good and wanted to know what he had put into the dish. The crab then told them that he had in fact added one of his own limbs to the curry, as there was no meat to put in it. This confession took his friends by surprise, but soon they recovered and joked that since he tasted so good, he should continue to cook for them. As the days progressed, and they continued to work on the crab's field, each day the poor crab was breaking off one of his own limbs to cook for his friend's lunch. Gradually, the day came when the crab had no more limbs to cook, only his body was left, but the crab was still serious about cooking a tasty meal for his friends, whom he loved so much. So finally, he decided to cook himself and jumped into the pot. Now that the crab was no more, that day, no call for lunch came for the three friends, but somehow their growling bellies compelled them to go and help themselves to lunch, which was waiting for them. The food tasted just wonderful that day. The friends noticed the crab's absence, but merely dismissed it, thinking he had been to attend to nature's call. But soon the fish screamed, looking down at his plate. The limbless body of the crab, cooked red, was lying lifeless on his plate. He had cooked himself this time. The crab had ensured that their food tasted good till his last breath. Initially, the friends were troubled by this, but as they talked more about his behavior, they thought he was quite crazy. The frog giggled and said that he always thought the crab took everything too seriously. The shrimp added that it was because the crab was flat-headed and burst out laughing. Soon all of them were holding their bellies and laughing uncontrollably. Their friend's self-sacrifice meant nothing to them. Work was forgotten, crab was forgotten, and laughter took over the three friends. But as they laughed, the frog started to feel a strange sensation around his body. He looked down and saw his belly swelling up till his chin. The look of alarm on his face brought his friend's laughter to a stop. The frog's body looked swollen and his eyes bulged out. He looked down right ugly. Soon the shrimp felt his legs turning backwards. He screamed and tried to move his legs, but only managed to jump backwards. The fish watched his friend's transformation with shock. His heart started racing, and he wondered what his fate too would be. He didn't have to wait long, for his neck began to expand. It grew to the size of his shoulders and made him completely neckless. Now the three friends were a horrifying sight. They knew they were being punished for their callous behavior. They no longer could bear to look at themselves, so all three jumped into the nearest pond to hide themselves. But their ugly transformation remained with them. So to this day, they still look the same. The frog with bulging belly and protruding eyes, shrimp always jumping backwards and fishes with no neck.